That's a grim flood situation in Meghalaya's Garo Hills. Well, moving on, presidential candidate Purno Sangma has taken the blessing from his home constituency, Tura, yesterday and has begun his official campaign. An inter-religious prayer meeting was held in Tura at his residence, which was attended by his supporters and clan members. Sangma has sought the blessing of the people. These are the visuals which has come in from Tura on the ceremony which has taken place yesterday evening at around 5.30 p.m. where we have seen the inter-religious prayer meeting. Sangma, the strong man of Northeast politics, believes in miracles and he says that miracles do happen when questioned about the vote share. Meanwhile, he also uh, stated that this he is confident that he will surely win this election as he was given a heroic welcome in Tura when the service was going on yesterday at his residence in Dakhob Gray in West Garo Hills. He is coming to Guwahati today in a short while and is leaving for Delhi and from tomorrow the official campaign begins. Well, it has been a very long journey and a uh, very exciting journey and even, uh, I could say, even uh, unbelievable journey because uh, given my background, after the demise of my father, I was a school dropout. So I thought that uh, my life will end in Chapahati village itself. Tribals all over the India were uh, uh, thinking of coming together, fight for the common cause, because there has been a lot of neglect, a neglect, lot of uh, exploitation in the tribal areas. So the people, tribal people all over India were looking for someone who could, you know, uh, give them some hope. So last year in the month of August, uh, we had a, a huge uh, meeting of uh, tribals from all over India at Raipur. And there the idea came, you know, why should we keep quiet? Why should we not assert our rights? Why should we not fight? You know? So let us fight. Because I am because I'm contesting presidential election. It is beyond reservation. Precisely I am proving that. We should go beyond reservation. The, president, the post of president of India is not reserved. And I am as a tribal fighting for it. I am going beyond reservation. I am going for competition. Just to prove my point. You see? And secondly, you know, secondly we, want, I want, we, want, we want to say that a qualified tribal, you know, with experience, with education, with back, I mean, background, you know, should not be, should not be disqualified merely because he belongs to a tribal community. So being a tribal should not be a disqualification. This is what we are trying to say. Because president's election has taken place very quietly in the past. You see? No serious contest in the past. You know. Therefore, everybody is going by calculation of strength of political parties. You see. Pranam Mukherjee is not a Congress candidate. You see? He has resigned from Congress party. He has resigned from finance ministership. He is not a congressman. He is not Congress party. There is no symbol in this election. Party symbol. You see? P.S. Sangma is not a candidate of any political party. Both P.S. Sangma and Pranam Mukherjee are independent candidates and there is no symbol of any party all right and article 55 very clearly says the election will be by secret ballot which means 10 schedule doesn't apply no whip people are free to vote whatever and no party can take any action and Mr. Pranam Mukherjee having been sponsored or backed by the present government UPA government people know I don't think people are going to endorse 
all the dits and misdits, you know, all the misappropriations and corruptions, you know, of this present government by electing a candidate which is sponsored by them. It's as simple as that, you see. Today, people are looking for, you know, some, you know, honesty, some integrity, you know. Looking for someone who can bring some change, you know, with this kind of uh, uh, situation in the country. They are looking for it. India is looking for it. You talk to the young people of this country. You talk to, you know, but here, the problem is that, you see, everybody cannot have a bite of the I feel very proud. A small tribe from the Northeast, you know, in the fray. Well, that was Purno Sangma talking to us in Tura yesterday. Well, time to wrap up the bulletin. But before you do that, a quick look at the headlines once again. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, UPA Chief Sonia Gandhi takes stock of flood situation in Jorhat. Presidential candidate Purno Sangma kicks off his campaign from his hometown, Tura. Dead toll charges 61 in Assam floods, rescue operation by Army and NDRF in full swing. Intellectuals meet held in Kokrajhar to review the four-decade-long movement for Bodoland. Major reshuffle in Assam Police Department, five officers in charge transferred. Arunachal Pradesh government facing major financial crisis, 10 austeric measures adopted. And Meghalaya's West Garo Hills affected by flood, more than 14,500 households inundated. watching Frontier TV for fast, fair and fearless news. Thanks for joining us.